Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about the Python SciPy chi square test. Let's see what we are going to learn in this video. First we will understand chi square test p value in Python SciPy. After this we will know about the chi square test in Python SciPy. Then we will understand Python SciPy chi square test contingency table. And we will also learn about normal distribution with SciPy chi square test. Then we will know about Python SciPy chi square test goodness of fit. At the end, we will know the Python SciPy chi square test of independence. So before moving, let me tell you that we have detailed post about Python SciPy chi square test. The link to the post is given in the below description. Now move to the first topic. Chi square test p value in Python SciPy. When performing chi square tests, a p value is used to determine the significance of your results in relation to the null hypothesis. To comprehend the application of p value, we must first understand the hypothesis. A hypothesis is a well informed guess about anything in the world around us. It must be testable or observable. In other words, a hypothesis is defined as a formal statement in statistics that provides an explanation for the relationship between two or more variables in a given population. Hypothesis can be divided into two categories, null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is of test always predicts that there is no impact or association between variables. Whereas alternate hypothesis states that two observable variables are statistically significant. Now that we understand the null hypothesis, we can use the p-value to determine whether we should accept the null or alternate hypothesis. In general, if the hypothesis value is smaller than 0.5, it provides strong evidence against the null hypothesis because the null hypothesis has a less than 5% of chance being correct. The null hypothesis is thereby rejected while the alternate hypothesis is accepted. A p-value of more than 0.5 is not statistically significant. It indicates strong support for the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is retained whereas the alternate hypothesis is rejected. When we perform the chi-square test, it returns the result as a p-value that we can use to make a decision whether we should accept or reject the hypothesis. The next topic is chi-square test in Python SciPy. A chi-square statistic is a one way to show connection between two categorical variables. For this illustration, the Python SciPy module scipy.stats contains a method chi-square. The method chi-square is used to evaluate whether a category data has the desired frequencies. The syntax of the method is as follows, where parameters are fops which represent the observed frequencies in each category ddof deltas degrees of freedom it is an adjustment to the degrees of freedom for the p value the p value is computed using chi square distribution with k minus 1 minus ddof where k is the number of observed frequencies the default value of ddof is 0 fx it is expected frequencies in each category by default the categories are assumed to be equally likely access the test should be run along the axis of the broadcast result of fops and fx if the axis is set to known all of the values in fops are processed as one data set and zero is the default value of axis now let's understand with an example here we are going to import the required method chi square from the module scipy.stats. Execute the code. Now create an array and consider that the f ops are specified. The predicted frequency are assumed constant and provided by the average of the object frequencies. Execute the code. Now pass the array to method chi square. 
एज वी कैन सी काई स्क्वायर रिटर्न टू वैल्यू फर्स्ट वन इज स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड सेकेंड इज पी वैल्यू दिस इज हाउ टू यूज द मैथड काई स्क्वायर ऑफ पाइथन साई पाई स्टैट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पाइथन साई पाई काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट कंटिजेंसी टेबल From the last topic, we have learned about the chi-square approach. In this topic, we will learn about another function called chi-2 contingency, which is found in the scipy dot stats module. But first, we will know about what is a contingency table. A contingency table, sometimes called cross tab, summarizes the relationship between many categorical variables in statistics. Contingency table is a form of frequency distribution table. that displays a two variables at the same time now we know about the contingency table let's take an example where we will look at the table that illustrates the number of men and women who have purchased various types of fruits the purpose of test is to see if the two variables genders and fruits preferences are connected we start by formulating the null hypothesis which states that there is no link between the variable there is a considerable relationship between the two according to alternate hypothesis we will utilize the method chi2 contingency to test the preceding hypothesis import the required method chi2 contingency from module scipy.stats create a table using an array for the men and women who have purchased various types of fruits execute the code now pass the above array to a method chi2 contingency as we can see here the value of a p value is more than 0.5 and in the first part of this tutorial we have learned about what is a p value so p value is greater than 0.5 which means gender and fruit type are independent of each other This is how to use the chi2 contingency method of python scipy stats. The next topic is normal distribution with python scipy chi square test. To determine whether the sample conforms to a normal distribution or not, we will apply python scipy method chi square. But before we proceed, we need to know what is a normal distribution. The normal distribution is a symmetrical continuous probability distribution around its mean with the most observation clustering around the central peak and probabilities for values further away from the mean tapering off equally in both direction extreme values at both ends of the distribution are also unlikely let's take an example to test whether the sample belongs to normal distribution or not import the required libraries and method here we are importing the module stats from scipy libraries then we are importing numpy as np execute the code then we are going to generate the data that will contain values from a normal distribution to generate that kind of data we are using method np.random.normal which draw samples from normal distribution and we have passed three values 10 3 200 10 is is a mean 3 is a standard deviation and 200 is the size execute the code now pass the normal distribution sample to a method chi square here as we can see p value is greater than 0.5 which means the sample belong to normal distribution this is how to perform chi square test on normal distribution sample move to the next topic python scipy chi square test goodness of fit chi square goodness of fit test is used to see if a categorical variable follows an anticipated distribution for this we may use the method chi square from the module scipy.stats let's understand with an example import the required method chi square from the module scipy.stats 
execute the code now suppose we have expected an an equal number of visitors on our website pythonguides.com each day of the week to verify this expectation or hypothesis the number of customers visiting the website is recorded for each day of the week now create two arrays to store the number of visitors on the website for expected and observed visitors execute the code Now the chi square goodness of fit test is something that we can do with this data to verify the hypothesis. Pass the above expected and observed data to a method chi square and execute the code. Look at the result. The p value is 2.53 which is greater than 0.5 which means our hypothesis is wrong which means equal number of the user is not visiting our website on each day of the week this is how to use the chi square method to verify the hypothesis or perform the goodness of fit test move to the last topic of this tutorial is python scipy chi square test of independence to test if two categorical variables have a significant relationship the chi square test of independence is used this type of test is supported by the python scipy module scipy.stats which contains a method i2 contingency the syntax of the method is as follows where parameters are observed which represent the table of contingency lambda it allows us to use a statistic from the crissy reed power divergence family fraction if true and the degrees of freedom is 1 then it apply its correction for continuity let's understand with an example import the required libraries and module so here we are importing module states from the library scipy then we are importing numpy as np execute the code now create an array containing observation values using the method np.array execute the code now pass the above created observation to a method chi2 contingency to test the independence of the variables execute the code this is how to use the method chi2 contingency to apply the chi square test of independence In this video tutorial you have learned about python scipy chi square tests and i hope that you have enjoyed the video so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thank you